Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Zorge. So we got a new welder here, and this is made by Yes Welder. This is a MIG 205DS. It's a 3-in-1 welder, which means you can do MIG, stick, and lift TIG with the optional TIG torch. Now it's a multi-voltage welder, runs on 110, 220 volts. 220 volts means, well, you'll have more power. Um, the machine was sent in to me for testing and my review, so whatever I say in this video is basically what I think of the machine and that'll be my honest opinion so here's the back side on and off your gas inlet and your label here we got the stinger and the ground clamp and cable now you can put up to 10 pound spools in here Looks to be pretty solid there, mostly metal. By the looks of it, it doesn't have any wire, so I won't be able to test the wire today. Alright guys, so I got the table ready for testing here. We got two sections of 3 inch channel. We're going to weld these sections together, apply some welds on the outside, some beads. We got some electrodes here, some Hobart 7018, 6010 some 40 6013 and some 7018 some of these are uh, 1 8 electrodes some are 3 30 seconds and all we gotta do is power the machine on we are on 220 it's set at stick already and there's the amperage Alright, so the tack welds look a bit cold there, and I'm going to take it up to about 70 amps there. It's going to be some 40, 70, 18, 330 seconds as well. And for this one, try about 85 amps. So this is where the 6013 ended, and I think the 7018 kind of took some of that slag and tossed it in the mixture there, since my welds are very close. As you can see, the 1613 peels off really nice. All right, guys, so here's the 611. Kind of hard to see it here. 6013. 
and the 7018 here I had some slag I guess that got drugged down made me some pinholes here but I'll run another uh, another beat on the opposite side so we can get a better view now 6010 does not like to run on machines that are not transformer based and um, a lot of machines struggle and I'm pretty sure this one might not like the 6010 we're still gonna give it a shot and uh, see what it does Once again, this is a 7018, 330 seconds. And the slag comes off nicely. This is kind of like a flat bead. This is a little bit taller there. This is the 1 8 uh, electrode. And this one might have had a little bit too much heat oh can't forget the 6010 here it's very hard for the camera to pick up the bead there it actually looks like it's cold this is a the way the shadow looks on there or not the shadow but the lighting and here's a 6010 you can probably uh stick something together but i wouldn't trust it Sixty eleven, sixty thirteen, 60 13 and uh 70 18 there was a lot of porosity due to slag all right guys the end of the video and it's time to give my opinion my review on this machine so the display on here is very nice you got your amp reading here and your voltage now the layout here is very easy to understand which um it's like having the manual right here in front of you you got your 2t or 4t your gas mixture, um, if it's stick, scratch, or uh, gasless, the thickness of the cable, wire speed, your gas, and then your adjustment here. So it's very nice to have all this in the front. Only thing missing is a power button somewhere here. That way, I don't have to reach back here in case I have the machine in a cart or, you know, close to a wall. And like I mentioned, this video, we're only going to go over the the stick process due to not having the, the cable it got delayed by Amazon so I ordered a 10 pound spool and we'll do that in the second video now the mechanism in here is very nice as you can see it's mostly steel a few little plastic uh, parts in there so now that I have the door open one thing missing would be a label here a wire guide that way uh people that are new to welding they can have an idea on the settings to use for different wire different thickness of wire or material um the cables on here these are i believe uh 25 25 millimeter which is about four gauge these connectors are also nice and i was welding on uh DC electro positive for this test and also on 220 volts being a multi voltage machine it's nice 110 220 volts you can get more power out of the machine running on 220 and I have a 50 amp circuit to provide that power there now the fan uh, it does get a bit loud but it doesn't really bother me when I'm welding because I'm just hearing the the stick burning or the arc basically 
You got your gas inlet here, had a loose O-ring on there, probably from testing. Went ahead and put it away. Here's your switch. And here's the diagram with all the specs for 110, 220, and the different processes. Now, the machine welded nicely on the stick process and 220 volts. I knew that it was gonna weld perfectly because I have the Arc Pro 165, which is a smaller machine there. Now this machine, I can pick it up with one hand and mother uh, MIG welders, they're transformer base and weigh about three times as much. But yeah, would I recommend this machine? Yes, I would. And if you wanna buy one, I suggest you go to yeswelder.com and they have a lot of uh, coupon offers here and there. So might wanna check it out and save a few bucks. I'm also gonna list my coupon code below and um, any questions on the machine, let me know. I'll upload part two once the cable comes in or the wire the 0.035 uh, flux core wire and uh, other than that guys a pretty good machine like I said check them out at yeswater.com and um, they have great customer service answer your emails rapidly and um, have fun welding guys if you like the video please subscribe leave a comment below and see you in the next video bye bye